What's up, guys? It's Timber from Johannesburg, South Africa, and my debut album, Modern Africa Part 1, Ikaya, is available and out now. Um, eclectic, hopeful, grateful. Um, I think predominantly a lot of people that haven't traveled to Africa, and there's a lot of people that haven't traveled to Africa, have this misinterpretation about what Africa is and how they view um, Africans. And I think it's, it, it's, it's wrong because of like the people that I speak to and how they speak about Africa. And I'm like, that's not the place that I come from. And I think um, one thing that I'm trying to show the world is that you can look like this, dress like this, but still be internally deeply rooted in your in African and in, in, in your Africanness. Because I think the clothes that you wear um, don't define you and who you are. You know, and I think typically when people think of an African, they think of someone that's dressed in like like robes and skins and uh, you know when you open your back door there's a line in the back and that's not the case you know there's, there is a modern part of Africa and it doesn't mean that you're not deeply rooted in your Africanness and in the spirituality and the ethos of Africa. Um, we're gonna change the perception the best way I know how, the best way Temba knows how and that's with the power of music. Um, I'm hoping that through this album it's going to um, inspire other people to want to dig deeper into uh, African music and like the heart and soul of, of Africa. And I think, you know, there's as much as artists like uh, Miri Makeba, Fila Kuti, um, Huma Sigelao were big artists to my generation, there's a whole new generation of kids that's coming up that loves African music, loves Afrotech, loves everything about Africa but doesn't know much about the music so it's like oh there's, there's this new sound that I've heard and it's like no it's not a new sound it's been here forever you know and you are just need to get out of your comfort zone and go and discover more about what that sound is so I'm hoping that somebody's going to listen to Modern Africa part one and want to go find more songs like that and eventually they'll find themselves coming across like uh, Fela Kuti's platform because like a 22 year old in 2021, how would they know about Fela Kuti? They wouldn't, you know, but when they do hear it, because it's th th that's the power of music, you're inspired by it and you, you know, like it touches you in a different way, um, but you won't be exposed to it. So like, how do you expose yourself to it? You know, and I think that's one of the most powerful things about, about humans. I mean, like I personally, like uh, love and appreciate people who introduce me to new music and that's the art of being a DJ somebody that you're gonna go listen to this person they're gonna introduce you to sounds that you never thought you could ever hear and that person probably did you more good than your high school teacher um, day to day things that inspire me I'm literally inspired by other human beings diverse cultures and traveling and seeing different parts of the world. I think that for me personally has done, um, has, has allowed my world to really open up and not be confined or restricted to the things that I saw, the things that I heard and all the things that I learned growing up. I've just realized like, as they say, the world is literally your oyster and you can be anything and everything that you want to be. I mean, like, uh, what, what inspired me today is 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 um, gratitude. You know, um, there's not a lot of people in the world that w number one woke up today, um, and there's not a lot of people who will go to bed today. So, the fact that I'm here in Amsterdam doing what I love and you know uh, working to promote what I love and hoping that the music that I've made, the things that I do, will inspire just one other human being to be able to do good in their life is, is good enough for me. Uh, the last three, four years, I've literally been like on the road and flying around. Like I was actually checking. In the last three or four years, I've been on like 390 flights. 
which means I've been to like different parts of the world and gotten to experience different parts and di experience different people, different cultures. Um, and it's a fusion of that. It's a fusion of the music that like I grew up listening to. Um, and like not a lot of people know this about me, but like in South Africa, I was one of uh, like I was I was lucky to be like the only black kid in my school. Um, so I could relate to um, white kids. Uh, I grew up in the township, which meant I could relate to, to, to the township uh, kids. And my parents come from rural South Africa. So I could relate to that as well. And like on, on school holidays, that's where I would go visit. So my view of music is very influenced by the white kids from school, the kids from the township and what my parents were listening to. So that's what makes my music like so eclectic. And even now when I go around the world and I hear like maybe something like in India, for instance, like or an instrument in India, I'm like, wow, that I could use that for what I'm doing. So like there's all sorts of things from around the world um, that, you know, like an Uber driver. I'll always tell the Uber driver, no, 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 play me the music that you grew up listening to you know, and I'll find influences from that. So like for me, music is a very big driver and a, like the biggest soundtrack for my life. Nothing can fail this heart of mine. I think the one thing that you can expect from uh, Modern Africa Part 1, Ikaya, is to be very uh, taken aback. And what I would like people to do is to listen to the album with an open heart. Um, and I think the music that I made is music that, um, if you like all my club music, it's very different to, to club music. It's meant to be music that you can listen to like at home when you're chilling and thinking, um, in the car, driving somewhere. Um, basically, it's like it's, it's, it's elements for the soundtrack of your life. And that's what I want. I want people to be able to listen to it with an open mind and an open heart. And it's one of those albums that like, if you like it, you won't be able to explain why, and if you hate it, you won't be able to explain why. So that's why I say listen to it with an open heart. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, I think uh, one of the things that like a lot of people don't know about me is that uh, I'm a father and I have a family. So there's, um, you know, like I think that's my, my kids are my pride and my joy. And over and above that, like I, I'm also like a hectic sneaker collector. Um, I love streetwear. I love I, I, I love fashion. And yeah, those are the things that like I, I, I also because I get to travel the world, I'm able to like you know take certain pieces from influences from all around the world, and um, yeah, use it to trace myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, how many pairs of shoes do I have? I think at the moment, the last time I counted, it was 300 plus. But, 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 like what I also do is that the resale sneaker market is a very big market. So some of the stuff that I buy, I like buy it and preserve it so that like in 10 years, I can be like, I've got this sneaker unworn. And that's not for me, it's for my kids to be able to resell in the, at a later stage. Mm, I actually don't have a favorite pair, you know, like I'm very detached to material things. Um, like, I, like I just think that like what matters most is what's inside of you and everything else is easily replaceable. So I don't hold value to material things like it's nice to have but like if you don't have it it's also nice uh, my kids <laughs> everything else is in the cloud <laughs> that that would matter <laughs> My favorite animal is, uh, is, is, is a lion um, and I've actually got two, it's a lion and an elephant, you know, like it's, it's like a lion doesn't kill unless it's necessary and an and a elephant doesn't show its power unless it's necessary, you know, but you can see that like this thing's powerful and this thing is a killer, you know, but it doesn't show 
um, if but anything, uh, an elephant in particular is very uh, gentle and um, what's the other word? Like in how it moves around, it's very gentle. Like it's it's like when it puts its foot down, it, it could go, but instead it will go because it's got the ability to go, but it doesn't. And I think that's one thing that uh, human beings need to learn a lot, you know, like we are all very, very capable of doing whatever it is and whether you should or shouldn't do it is, is a question for the moment. And I think um, as long as you approach things with love and with compassion, um, you'll know when and how to use your, whatever gift God has given you. I've always wanted to be a DJ. <laughs> I've literally always wanted to be a DJ. I don't remember trying to be a doctor. So uh, when I was 11 years old, um, I was already collecting music and I started DJing when I was 14. And I didn't know what it was. I didn't know that, you know, collecting music and sharing music and playing music for people was called being a DJ. But that's always been the thing that I've always used to be cool. So at school, like people would come to me to ask me like, what song? Where can I find this song? Have you got this song? Can I borrow your CD? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Um, and like that's the thing that I've always been doing. Like I've always wanted to, if if not DJ, in fact, if I had to stop DJing today, I would still want to find a way and a means to share music and introduce other people to new music. Um, it's uh, a track by uh, Stimela. It's called Whispers in the Deep. Yeah, check that out. It's like one of like it's my go-to uh, song. Yeah. I don't have a favorite food, and I think it goes with like depends on where I am um, and what the mood is. Like, you know, like I have favorite places. Like when I get to the city, I like to go eat here or. Um, when I get to this country, like I definitely want to try this or eat that. Um, so I don't have like a, you know, like I, I don't eat pork. That's the only thing that I stay away from. And yeah, otherwise anything goes. Modern Africa part one Ekaya is literally available on all streaming platforms and all major music stores.